hi and welcome in this video we will be seeing about how to write a c program if you are a beginner on online coding platforms and in competitions okay so let's see what are the common mistakes that many beginners make and how to avoid them okay what is the problem structure what is input format what is output format you might have seen in online coding competitions and online coding platforms fine so for example my problem statement is you are given two integers represented by a and b okay two integers are provided to you represented by a and b and various mathematical operations needs to be performed on them the operations are a plus b a minus b and a multiplied by b okay what is the input format the input format here is input is of single line containing two space separated integers input is of single line containing two space separated this is important single line containing two space separated integers what is the next point the next point here is for output format so what is output format output format is print the result of a plus b a minus b and a multiply b in different lines now you have to print the result of all the three operations on a different line for example the sample input is 5 and 6 that is space separated integers see the input format of a single line input contains a single line of two space separated integers so this is the value of a and this is the value of b what is sample output the sample output is 11 that is 5 plus 6 minus 1 that is 5 minus 6 and 30 that is 5 into 6 and as you can see in the output format it was written that it should be in different lines so they are in different lines okay so let's write a simple code for this and see what are the mistakes that many make and you should not make that mis those mistakes okay let's begin so this is my question okay I have my input format I have my output format so let's begin so this is the input format and this is the output format fine so first what we have to do first we have to take two integers that is a and b declare two integers using scanf using scanf we will take them as inputs we will take them as inputs percentile d and here we will take n percent a and n percent b so do not get confused that they have written the in out input should be space separated input okay this is space separated input this is normal input that you have to take okay what is the next point is after you get this you have to print the result of a plus b a minus b and a multiply by p so print f print the result of three operations okay so these are the three operations what are the operations that is a plus b a minus b and a multiply by b okay so this is a simple code it should be correct okay it should give you correct answer this is a simple code so let me give let me just run the code and after running let's take some inputs for example the inputs are 5 and 6 so it is 70 minus 60 325 how is this valid okay okay i make a mistake here just have one more percentile d for b also okay now run the code and take 5 and 6 as the input that is 5 and 6 so here it is 11 minus 1 and 30 now will it give a correct answer will the online platform accept this output no the online platform will not accept this output the reason being it is clearly defined in output format that the answer should be in different lines but here the answer is in single line so you have to write those answers in different lines okay so how you will print them in different lines it is very simple so like this okay print f for this value this value that is a plus b okay a minus b and a multiply by b a minus b and a multiply by b now when i run it and give the input as 5 and 6 and give the input as 5 and 6 so here okay okay and use a new line statement use a new line statement here fine yes 
this is new line character and now we should get our final correct output final correct output that is 11 minus 1 and 30 all are printed on a different line as specified in the output format it should exactly match okay so here if the output format says you have to print yes y e s yes in capital so you have to print it is in capital if you print y e s like this it will give you a wrong answer if you print y e s like this it will give you a wrong answer you have to print it in capital only fine so you have to match the output format exactly now what is the mistake that many make so they will write like this print f and enter the value of a and b enter the value of a and b okay so why, where do you think this will be printed this is also printed in output console this is also printed in output console okay the answer will be correct the answer is not wrong it will print a plus b a into b and a minus b so see it there I have given the input it will print 11 minus 1 and 30 but what is the problem the problem now right now the problem is nothing but in the output you will get enter the value of a and b 11 minus 130 but in the output you should only get 11 minus 130 this line which is printed using the printf statement enter the value of a and b is not in the output format is not in the output format so this line should not be there this line should not be there in the output you should only see as 11 minus 1 and 30 okay here also you cannot write a plus b equal to this you cannot write a plus b equals to this or a minus b equal to this okay on online coding platforms you cannot write this your answer should exactly match with the output format okay this is a mistake that many beginners make fine so you cannot write a plus b answers are correct 11 minus 130 but in the output format they have mentioned that only answer should be there this statement should not be there okay so this is the mistake that you have to avoid fine so this is the first part of the video now in the next part we will be seeing about the test cases what are test cases now for example if i have to get the answer for a and b of 10 and 10 so the answer is this it is correct now for again i have to test my program and for that what i have to do i have to just write new values for new values i have to test the program again and again okay for example i have to test the program 30 times so actually i have to run this code like this that i am running i am showing you 30 times how many times 30 times so i am doing a same process 30 number of times i am doing the same process 30 number of times so how can i reduce this using code how can i reduce this using code the same process that i am doing manually i will be using a while loop i will be using a while loop okay so many times i ran it so for running for example if i want to run this program this code five number of times so i will wrap this code in a while loop that runs five times okay if i want to run, run this code 10 number of times so i will wrap this in a loop that will run 10 times okay so let's see a problem statement that defines this part that defines this part fine and then we will move further then we'll again come here and code that okay so if the problem statement now is you are given the same problem statement same you are given two integers a and b and these are the mathematical operations next what is the input format now the input format is different first line of the input contains an integer representing the number of test cases now in the input you will have the first line which will contain the integers representing the number of test cases okay now each test case consists of a single line containing two space separated integers now each test case will contain of a, consist of a single line containing two space separated integers that is the value of a and b and this is the value of how many times you want to run your code okay now output format is for each test case print the result of all operations space separated previously it was in a different line now i want the result space separated but for each test case it should be in a different line for one test case the answer should be they are in a space separated manner and for the other case case on a new line in a space separated manner now if you are confused see the input so first is we i i want to run the program two number of times that is my i have two time i have two test cases first test case is five and six that is the value of a and b is five and six the second test case is the value of a and b is 10 and 10 so the output here is 11 minus 130 for five and six 11 minus 130 in a single line space separated and for another test case on a new line 
20 0 and 100 is space separated okay so first i have to take a variable and store this value then i have to run a loop for that many number of times and then our code will run now for example this is my same code okay before any of this now my test input is changing so i have to take in for example t that will store the number of times my code will run that is the number of test cases that problem setter has given to us okay m percent t m percent t fine now use simple while loop while t is not equal to 0 while t is not equal to 0 and now inside this while loop we have to run our code so this is the same code what i have to do no, not the same code let me change it so it is nothing but t minus minus at the end so here we have to write our code we have to write our code so now what will happen how many number of times will it run it will run t number of times how many number of times this loop will run this loop will run t number of times okay and here we have to write the code and what the code says take two inputs a and b okay use scanf to take the values scanf to take the values scanf percentile d percentile d and m percent a m percent b okay then printf use printf to print the answers we have the answers in a single line space separated okay and after that for a new test case it will be slash n that is for a new line fine and just print here a plus b then a minus b sorry a plus b comma a minus b comma a multiplied by b fine so this is how you are going to write it down this is how you are going to write it down now what will happen t value is 2 for example so it will come here 2 is not equal to 0 no it will come inside so a and b will be taken as input answer will be printed t will be decremented so t value was 2 it will become 1 and it will again run one more time then again t will be incremented and here it will equal to 0 it will become false and it will exit so our loop will run two number of times our loop will run two number of times that is nothing but whatever value we are giving to variable t our loop will run t number of times now for example i give the value 5 i give the value 5 that i have five test cases to run to t in the first test case the values are 4 and 5 so these are the answers in the second test case the value are 5 and 6 so these are the answers then it has 10 and 12 so these are the answers then 13 and 14 answers 15 and 6 answers okay so i have on a single run as you can see on a single run i ran i ran the program five number of times for means that i have run tested my program for five test cases for five test cases for five different set of values for five different set of values on a single test case this is how you have to do it this is how you have to do it okay now the next uh, you can say the doubt that everyone has is in the input format all the values are all the inputs are in the same line in the in in a continuous manner on all the outputs are in the continuous manner so let just see that also so it is nothing but for example just here change this so we have 5 we have 4 5 then 5 6 then 10 12 then 13 14 and then 15 16 15 and 6 okay just copy it copy one more second just copy this part okay and let's run it out just let's run it copy this part and when we run it so here so you get the output also you get the output also in that manner okay the online compiler will run like this so do not think that one after one it will print okay it will print in a continuous manner as given in the sample output only fine so this is how you have to handle the test cases test case loop this is how the test case this is why the test case loop is used and its implementation is right in front of you fine you have to exactly match the output guys you have to exactly match the output format fine that is very important okay so this is how you can use test case loop and avoid some basic errors fine thank you